guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sahara. So I am starting today's look off with a foundation that claims to be my shade, but of course is too light for me. This is the L'Oreal, um, it's like a dewy, true complexion or something like that kind of foundation. And I'm applying that all over my face. It'll help me give that sick look. And my sponge still has some black on it, so that'll help as well. Now I'm going in with some of the Ben Nye setting powder just to set that all in place all over my face and place. This is the colorless powder, by the way. So for this part, I'm actually gonna be drawing the spider on my face using the Maybelline eyeliner pencil. I'm gonna be drawing it with that first and then going back over it with the black paint. And for this part, I really can't explain it so well, so you guys are just gonna have to watch it on a fast speed, like when I did my speed drawing videos for this part it's like a trial and error type of thing to try to get them right so that's why I always recommend starting with some type of pencil first and then going over it with black paint just so you can be able to erase it a little bit better rather than having to go in with the black paint and just like wiping it all off. I'm going in with the Mayron palette and using that black paint to color in all of the lines and stuff that I made for the spider. And I'm also kind of shaping it a little bit better because again I just drew it on with that pencil, with that eyeliner pencil so it's not quite like even or at least as even as I wanted it to be. going in with the red Mayron paint because you know it wouldn't be a black widow spider without the black and the red back. For this part I'm going in with the white Mayron paint just to apply the white where I would want to bring light to the spider I guess that's what I'm trying to do and I'm just doing it in certain spots on the legs in the back and um, doing it in like a skinny little line For this part, I am just dotting little eyes on a spider. I don't know exactly how a spider's eyes looks because for a reference picture, I did use a cartoon spider. I am definitely afraid of spiders, so I couldn't look at a real spider or this wouldn't have happened altogether. <laughs> for this part, I'm going in with the Ben Nye Colorless Set Powder again, and I'm going to set the spider all over. I don't want it to smear or to get too shiny, so I'm just using that. And I did pour it in my hand because I had nowhere else to put it. And it's just going everywhere. It's messy. And anytime you want to set something like this, always go for the Midnight Colorless Set Powder because it will not alter the sh color at all. It does not lighten it or darken it. I love this colorless set powder. It's like a neutral. I don't know how. I don't know what the name of it is, but I know it's like a colorless powder and it's perfect and it's just, it's everything. For this next part, I'm going to be applying Vaseline all over my hand and all over the spatula that I'm going to be using as well. I'm going to use the Graftobian, Graftobian wax and I'm going to use that to apply like the spider where the spider bit me at. I forgot what it's called. It's like a spider bite, but it's like another type of word for it. <laughs> and I'm going to also apply the Vaseline over my brows and on my lashes just to make sure if any latex or spirit gum gets in the um, hairs that it will come out easy. 
So now I'm going to take the spirit gum and apply that all over where I'm going to apply the wax at, which is just like where the spider's mouth is at. Now I'm tapping the spirit gum to help it get tacky. That's what you want to do. You just want to tap it or, you know, tap it with your finger or a brush to help it get tacky so it's sticky enough to hold whatever prosthetic you're applying or wax. Now I'm applying the wax where I applied the spirit gum, gum at and I'm using the spatula to help me smooth it out and I'm also using my fingers and you want to make sure to apply the Vaseline on your spatula and on your fingers so the wax does not stick to anything and it won't you know alter the wax in any way so you definitely want to use Vaseline because it will become a mess. When I first used this for the first time yesterday it was a mess but I'm a little bit more used to it you know. In less than 24 hours, I'm a little bit more used to something that I've never used before, but, you know, just smooth it out. Now I'm going in with that spatula to help me kind of carve out where I want it to look like the spider was biting me at. And this probably would have looked a lot cooler if it was, you know, like carved open on the top of this scar looking thing. Now I'm using some of Ben Nye's liquid latex and applying that all over the scar and around it to smooth out the edges. This is going to, you know, give it some type of like textured look and it's also going to help to kind of seal around it too because with the spirit gum it doesn't help to completely seal it. It just helps to really just stick on it. So I'm going to apply that latex all over the wax and where I carved it out at. I'm going to take some cotton balls and I'm going to just tear it up and apply a piece of that where I tore that hole open at. And I guess I want it to kind of look like pus is coming out of it. So I'm just going to apply that on that part and then apply the latex over that. And then I'm just going to let it fully dry. Now I'm going to be going into the Black Radiance Baked Warm Berry Blush and applying that under my eyes and on my eyelid. I want it to look like I am sick and this didn't give me like the purple type of look that I was going for. So I am going to go into the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette or Take Me to Brazil palette and I'm going to mix the darkest purple shade in some black to help me create that tired overly tired sick look and I'm also going to apply some of the black on my lips and anytime you want to look sick or dead <laughs> you just have to hold your lips together really tight and then apply some black eyeshadow on them like that. So for this part I'm going back into that dark purple shade and some black and mixing it together and creating little swiggly lines to look like veins are popping out as well. And as I'm creating the veins, I'm also kind of pressing on them just to kind of smear them out and look a little bit faded so they don't look obviously drawn on, but more like they're coming from within my skin. I'm going back in with that L'Oreal foundation that I use and applying that over the spider bite. I'm applying that first as my first layer. It will blend into my skin a little bit better. For this part, I'm taking the scissors and just cutting open around where I applied that cotton ball at. I want it to be open around there so it can so I can apply some colors in there. I want it to kind of look a little bit separated from the actual bite. If I'm making any sense whatsoever. <laughs> I'm going in with this e.l.f. HD purple blush and applying that around that part that I cut open first. I'm going to go back into that Mayron palette and use the yellow shade to apply that over the cotton ball. 
Now I'm going in with the red shade and applying that around it where I cut it open at. Now I'm going into the green and mixing the green with some black and applying that in the middle of the cotton ball as well. And I'm also applying that black paint shade and applying that around the area that I cut open as well. It's just a lot of going back and forth with a bunch of different colors. So I'm going in with the red paint shade and applying that all over the wax spider bite. And it's like, I don't even know what to call it now. <laughs> For this part, I'm taking black eyeshadow and just tracing over where I want the web, the spider web to go over my lips. Now I'm going back into the Mayron palette and applying that white shade over where I trace the spider web at. Alright, so before I explain the situation that's going on on my eyebrows, I'm going in with some blood scab and applying that all over the spider bite. Now, to explain what's going on with my eyebrows, I took some cotton balls and I put and I applied them to my eyebrows. I wanted to see how it was going to look, if it was going to look kind of cool or like a spider web, but it kind of looked like... I wanted to be Santa Claus for some reason, so I was like, nah, I ain't go I'm not going with that. So I took them off and I just left it alone. <laughs> but I am applying that blood all over the spider bite, and then I'm going to blend it in to kind of soften up the look and... Alright, so for this part, this is just an extra step that really doesn't matter, but I'm going to apply the blood kind of on my chest like it dripped off. You know, this is unnecessary, but it's a little necessary for me. <laughs> and this is my face after remembering that the blood does stain. <laughs> so now I'm going to go in with another cotton ball and I'm just like creating a little like spider web like you know how the spiders leave a spider web back behind so so I'm applying some spirit gum on my skin to help the cotton ball stick on it before so now I'm just applying it on there and I'm not gonna apply any liquid latex over that because I don't want to change how it looks I think it looks fine the way it is now I'm just taking the sponge and kind of soaking up where some of that blood is at. I think it looks better dry and it's going to give the blood like a darker look. So for this part I just combed my eyebrows up. Obviously this is like another unnecessary thing but I just thought that it was something else to add to the effect, you know, of me looking crazy and worn out and tired and sick but that will complete this look i hope you guys enjoy it i had so much fun creating this please don't forget to like comment subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video but don't forget to watch the ending of this video <laughs>